Hello, it's Malcolm Torch here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be going through Breckle Body 3 and how to quickly get it set up network wise. So, there's a few things you have to remember first. Obviously, first, you need two Xbox Connects or whatever device you're going to be using to capture, and you also need that amount of other computers or laptops that have a little bit of grunt. So, obviously, if you've got three Connects, you need three computers. Now I'm going to assume that you've already got Breckle set up. So the way I find best is first open up the Breckle Body 3 headless apps on all the other machines. And then here you can see all the kind of details that's coming up. On your main machine, click Breckle Body 3 and open that puppy up. And now we can see that it's automatically detected Xbox One connects. Now down the bottom here, if you don't have this ticked, obviously the connect won't turn on. And also we've got auto connect on startup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly align the sensors up here in the top right. Now I don't have the marker printed off because I don't have a big enough printer for the A3 piece of paper. So I'm just going to use the bodies. I've set the delay to start at four seconds and then for the next 20 seconds it'll work it out. Now it works best if you raise up one arm to your left and the other one out wide and kind of do a rotate and do some movements. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So before we're going to export, let's check our settings. Um, I've got FBX and the BBH ticked and I've got them both going to the C recordings. And I've also got the sample rate up at 30 frames a second. Now this doesn't need to be done. However, I do set it like this. Um, this is more important for the FBX file rather than the BBH file. When importing into Blender, you can actually set the BBH file to be in line with whatever frame rate in Blender. With the FBX is a little bit different. So I just select 30 frames a second, make life easier. And now that we can see, obviously my left foot is a little bit haggly because you can actually see in the bounds. I'm actually standing up in a very tiny room. So this is the problem that we've got. So I'm going to be probably focusing only on the top half, but you can see just how smooth it is. And obviously now I've got a lot more movement around and it's a lot more precise. So it's really good um, and it works quite well. So what I'm going to do is let's just do a quick recording. So down in the bottom here, I'm just going to click start recording. And so that's a very brief overview of Breckel. Let's have a look what it looks like in Blender. So with Blender, I'm just gonna delete that default cube as we always have to. File, import, I'm gonna do the BBH. Go to my C recordings and let's open up today's. And what I'm gonna do is scale FPS and I can do update scene duration. Now let's import that BBH file. We can see it's ready come in. I'm just gonna scale by 0.01 and that'll bring it to the you know, roughly the two meter size. And if we have a look, what does it look like? You can see the feet are a bit haggly, but I mean, this top bit up, this bit up here looks quite nice. So it's a very good system for capturing motion. Um, you can see it's pretty precise. It's good to have your character built around these bones just to make it a little bit more precise. Obviously the issue is that if you're importing a character with a different bone structure, you might have a few problems. But other than that, Breckle Body 3, it's still in beta at the moment. It's pretty good uh, for the fact is that you can link up very quickly, very simply multiple connects. Um, I do look forward to try and reach out and see if I can get some Xbox V4 and seeing how they go in such a small space as well. If you like these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Please go check out Breckle's website, link in the description. If you do go down the route, please let them know where you came from. <laughs>